Dillon at Western Bike Works. Visit us at westernbikeworks.com or at our store at Northwest 17th and Lovejoy in downtown Portland. Today I'm going to talk to you about tires, in particular why some tires are more expensive than others. You might see two tires on our website that look exactly the same, but one might be $40, one might be $20. What goes into that difference of price has to do with the construction of the tire and the performance that you're going to get out of that. First thing we're going to look at is the bead. The bead of the tire is that material that physically interfaces the rim to hold it on. It can be two different materials, either a wire bead or a Kevlar bead. Wire bead, you can see it has a lot of structure. It doesn't fold up. That's going to be a little bit heavier. Kevlar bead, you're going to save about 50 grams of weight going to a Kevlar or a folding bead. So that's going to be less rotational mass, make you a little bit more efficient. Lower end tires tend to have wire beads, higher end a Kevlar bead. There are some cases in which a high end tire might use a wire bead where you want a firm connection to the rim in the case of some really high end downhill racing tires. The second aspect of tire construction that's going to affect performance and thus the price is going to be the casing construction. Really the casing of a tire is fabric that then is impregnated with rubber and that fabric can be lots of different materials. It can be nylon, it can be cotton, it can be polyester, it can be silk in the case of some really high end tires and then what fills the space in between those individual threads of the casing is rubber. Low TPI means low threads per inch just like the sheets at your Motel 6 might have a low thread count. High TPI means high threads per inch and that's like if you're staying at the Ritz Carlton. So just like cotton sheets the higher the TPI the more supple the casing is the more the tire is able to conform to irregularities in the road surface it's gonna feel a lot better. But at the expense of durability a high TPI tire doesn't have a lot of rubber in the casing so it's more prone to punctures and sidewall cuts. So if you're looking for something durable go with that lower TPI. Most manufacturers will make the same tire with two different TPIs. So these are both the same tire one in the 60 TPI version gonna be a little less expensive one in the 120 TPI version that's going to be a lot more supple but more expensive. The next thing that's going to affect the performance and the price of the tire is the tread compound. If you want a long wearing tire, harder rubber is going to allow it to last a lot longer, but at the expense of cornering traction. So more expensive tires will blend rubbers of two different hardnesses. We'll have a harder rubber here in the center tread for long wearing when you're going straight, but then when you get onto the corners or the shoulders of the tire when you're cornering, softer rubber improves your traction. So higher end tires will mix those compounds, whereas the lower end tire will just use one compound. That's going to definitely affect the price. When we get to some special considerations, the tubular tires tend to be a lot more expensive. This is a special tire that interfaces a special kind of rim that needs to be glued onto the rim surface. We have a, a separate video that explains the difference between tubulars and clinchers in some detail. Have any questions about this or anything else? give us a call or visit us at westernbikeworks.com.